Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dark Trilogy, episode 11. And I've been a little busy around the house since the last episode. I've been down doing some mining as well, a little bit of redecorating downstairs, and just out in the oceans killing some squid. <laughs> Sounds like fun, right? Um, and when I mean I was killing squid, I, I was I was killing a lot of squid. Uh, I noticed that there was a ton of squid spawning around the house, and I've also went ahead and jumped into the config files for Ender.io and went ahead and disabled the spawning of squid. Um, I think it was affecting my mob spawning at night, and uh, lately since I've uh, killed all the squid in the area, I've been seeing a uh, improvement in mob spawning at night, so I've been down doing some mob killing as well at night, uh, also trying to grab some ender pearls in the meantime because I know I'm going to need a fair amount of those in the near future um, as well as like you know gunpowder you know string bones always nice to have some of that laying around um, as far as mining's concerned I've uh, been looking for mainly iron and you guys can see I got a little over four stacks which I've been processing slowly and manually uh, so this is what we got so far iron wise and I think it's actually about time to go ahead and start cleaning up you know organizing the chests a lot better than what we have maybe setting up a small sorting system as well as maybe automating or auto processing our ores so I might go ahead and jump on that today now I got a little bit of an idea already planned out for what I would like to do and it's going to involve jumping into a little bit of Batania. At least I don't really have to, but eh, I just think it'd be fun to go ahead and just uh, do a little bit of Batania as well. Here and there when I can. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's pull out our Lexica Batania. Open that up. Let's see. Where is this going to be? Is it under Mystical Items? Let's see. I believe it's called the botanical brewery that's what I'm looking for so unlike potions brews have defined recipes and each vial contains multiple doses so that's really really nice to have I need a brewing stand living rock rune of mana and a block of mana steel so not too bad I'm gonna need um let's go ahead and get our brewing stand made up rune of mana is gonna require mana pearl Aha, nice good thing I've been collecting those all right good all right and then just some mana steel so let's get some Iron. I'm gonna go ahead and grab half a stack of that. We'll grab an Ender Pearl. Let's go ahead and craft while we're over here. Ooh, nice to have those blaze rods. I'm glad I picked those up already. So we're gonna use this to go ahead and craft ourselves our brewing stand. I'm also gonna go ahead and craft while I'm here a block of iron. And then I'll see you guys in just a second at our mana pool. And at the mana pool, time to go ahead and throw in our block of iron. <laughs> That was really quick, wasn't it? And I believe, what do we want? Do we even have any mana steel? I got one mana steel ingot. How much do we actually need? We need five there. All right, so just five. So pretty much just four. And one more, there we go. Plus this one we got here. And, do I need anything? Oh yeah, living, that's what I need, living rock. There we go. So let's go ahead and get this set up. One, two, and then a brewing stand. Let's go ahead and get our mana pearl. We'll pop that on there as well as the five mana steel ingots we need. And I'm going to need my wand of the forest for this. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to go ahead and get that process ready to go. One more of you. And I'll go ahead and leave the, uh, the rest of the iron in there for later if I need it. Let's get our living rock ready. So where are we at on you? It's almost ready. Go ahead and place our block of mana steel right there. And it's ready to go. Oops, oh, that was a bad toss. Come on, throw it on top, right? There we go. Perfect. All right, rune of mana, give us our botanical brewery. Awesome. All right, so where would I like to place this? You know, I think we'll go ahead and make ourselves yet another mana spreader so I'm gonna need another petal let's see let's do an orange look like we had a fair number of the orange ones there we go mana spreader and I'll just toss that back in there for now all right so let's go ahead and place this one right there and then we'll place this here for now um, off camera I'll probably do a little bit of re 
decorating this area. Hopefully soon. I got some ideas in mind. But let's go ahead and get this set up first. And so we're still in our bind mode on the wand of the four. So if we shift right click, shift right click, that'll go ahead and have that point to our botanical brewery. Let's see. Now, the brew that I want to make, and we should be able to find this in any eye. I want the magma skin potion or brew actually. So this is going to require nether wart, magma cream, and netherrack. I'm also going to need a mana glass vial, which we need to make a little bit of mana glass. So we'll just go ahead and grab three pieces of glass, toss those into our mana pool. And with that, we'll go ahead and make ourselves our mana glass vials. Should only need one for this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few more things that I need back at base. We'll be right back. All right, guys, back at the house, just real quick. Notice we are going to need a magma cream for this, and uh, we could use a slime ball, gelatinous slime, uh, coagulated blood, um, I believe glue, pink slime ball. There's quite a few things we can use to get ourselves a magma cream. Pretty much all I have at the moment is a uh, gelatinous slime, just one, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Plus, I'm going to take one of my blaze rods, pop it in the macerator so that way... Um, we get more blaze powder out of our blaze rod than normal. So we just need one, and I'll be able to use those other four in just a little bit for what else we need. So back at the Batania area to do ourselves a little bit of brewing. So let's go ahead and right-click a mana glass vial onto the brewery. And I should be able to just place the rest of these things on there. So right-clicking on the central pillar there with the items. I do love this animation. This thing looks awesome. Oh, oh, and <laughs> you go ahead and put it on there, it's automatically going to go ahead and start cooking this thing up. So, not quite sure how much mana this is going to use. Hopefully not too much. Oh, man, those particle effects, they look... Oh, whoa, okay, that scared me. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, though. That is really cool. So, that's going to give me fire resistance for eight minutes. Uh, pretty much just like, you know, a regular fire resist potion. So, let's see, is that even fire... Potion... Huh. Maybe I'm just missing it. Uh, I'm not sure. But um, there we go. Vial of Magma Skin, Fire Resistance, and I'm going to be using this too. Well, go ahead and get some more Blaze Rons. So, time to kill some Blazes. All right, guys, just drink some of the Magma Skin, and I think it's time to put it to the test. All right, guys, hit me with your best shot. Come on. <laughs> that means you guys can't touch me. <laughs> I'm going to get a little, probably a little too uh, full of myself here. But uh, eh, I'm just going to go ahead and stick around here, try to play this as safely as possible with um, the uh, magma skin here and get as many blaze rods as I can just to go ahead and get myself stocked up with those. When I get done, I'll meet you guys back at base, ready to get started with our sorting system. So I'll see you guys back in just a minute. All right, guys, and we're back 14 blaze rods later. A, uh, a swig of the uh, magma skin as well. Uh, went ahead and went through the uh, whole eight minutes of that and went ahead and made my way back. So 18 levels of experience in the meantime as well. That's not too bad. I've also noticed I got a few visitors downstairs in my uh, my new basement. I've uh, went ahead and done a little bit of work in since the last episode. So, oh, and, whoa, 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 and a witch. That's not nice. Okay, oh, oh. How did you do... I was all the way up here. Your stupid splash potion. You know what? I'm gonna... That's what you get. You get one shot by my bow. Where's your friend at? You. Get out of here. This is my place. Alright, I need to... I need to light this area up badly. Alright, let's go ahead and check. Let's push F7. Uh, nice little NEI built in uh, to help see where our light levels are at. So this is uh, the red X's show where mobs can spawn at any time of the day, whether it be nighttime or daytime, and then the yellow being where they can spawn at night, so, uh, I don't really like that, alright, well, I think for now, what do I have that I can fix that, hmm, obviously we have torches, but uh, I didn't really just want to just go like this and place a torch down, um, but you know what, I think for now, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to just place a few torches on the walls there and on the floor just for the meantime and then I'll figure something out off camera. If you guys have some ideas you're welcome to uh, throw us down some suggestions as well but uh, let's go ahead and get started with this sorting system and processing system. So I'm going to need my 
macerator, my electric furnace, and I'm also going to have to run power down there. So I'm going to probably tap into this line um, back here and just run this downward. And might even eventually be moving these machines out of here so we can start actually nicely decorating the house. So, as far as sorting system is concerned, I wouldn't mind going the extra utilities route. I've, eh, I've wanted to do extra utilities. I don't know if I ever really gotten into it really as much as I wanted to. So, let's go ahead and see what kind of damage I can do. Alright, so I know I'm going to need some blocks of redstone for sure. I'm just going to go ahead and grab... A fair amount of those as well as some redstone. I'm going to need some glass. I know I got some sitting in here. Let's see. I know I'm going to need some stone as well. We should still have some of that cooked up ready to go. And let's go ahead and get ourselves crafting some stone slabs. Then I'm going to go ahead and craft these into for now. Oops. Did I get that mixed up? Yes, I did. Got that mixed up. All right, so glass, redstone, that'll give us some regular transfer pipes. So that's going to give us eight of those per craft. I'm just going to grab a, a nice little stack of those just to get myself ready. I'm also going to need some transfer nodes, which we've already made the liquid transfer node. Now I want to go ahead and start crafting the actual item transfer node. So let's go ahead and take a look at that recipe. I know... I can use either a ender pearl or a block of redstone. The ender pearl recipe giving us four of the transfer nodes per craft, and the uh, redstone one just giving us one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the regular redstone for now, just because I'm a little lacking on the uh, the ender pearl department. So let's go ahead and see. We're gonna, gonna need some chests. Do have a fair amount of great wood, so let's go ahead and use that up. We'll grab 24 of those, convert these all into planks, make us a good eight chests real fast. And then I should just be able to shift click everything in there. There we go, eight of them. You know what? That sounds fine with me. We'll just go ahead and craft eight for now. All right, now I'm also going to go ahead and jump into pipes here. And take a look at some of the other pipes we have. So we have sorting pipes, which we can click on these. Uh, go over um, one more page and it'll kind of tell you a little description about it. Sorting pipes are special kind of transfer pipe that will only insert items to an inventory if the inventory already contains an item of the same type. Um, there's also the filter pipe, which I'm actually going to go with. I'm going to grab probably just one set of those if I can. Looks like... Do I need four different colors? Or can I use all of the same color? Let's go ahead and try and see if we can use all of the same color real quick. So four lampus. Ah, nice. Perfect. All right, so that'll give us five filter pipes. I'm going to want some of those. Uh, we got the rationing pipes. But I also want to go ahead and craft some of these mod sorting pipes. So I am going to need some of these regular sorting pipes. Let's grab two gold ingots. And we'll grab two sets of those, and then we'll just go ahead and convert those into the uh, mod sorting pipes. All right, so we got that all taken care of. We got all the, I believe, all the pipes I'm wanting. Now, the reason I wanted the blaze rods is because, well, if I'm down mining and I want to clean up my inventory, and I have all the ores on me and stuff like that that I'm down mining, and I want to go ahead and get those automatically processing while I'm down there so I can keep mining, I wouldn't mind setting up an ender chest, an ender pouch. So, let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Let's see, where are you guys hiding in any eye? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. So there we go, ender chest. So we're going to need a piece of wool, four blaze rods, a chest, obsidian, and an ender pearl. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need an ender pearl as well for my ender pouch. So it's two pieces of obsidian. What do you need, ender pouch? Just three leather, four blaze powder, and a piece of wool. So both of them are going to need a piece of wool. I think I got just about everything I need for him. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a few more chests there. And I should be able to just craft my first ender chest. And these things are pretty cool. We can actually use, you know, two ender chests. Um, like have one here. Say, for instance, I made another one. We can uh, pretty much just use them accordingly. So as long as the color code on the top matches the other ender chest we can place items in here pull them out of the other ender chest and so on so i plan on actually using this in conjunction with 
the ender pouch. So I need three pieces of leather. And I believe those are gonna be hanging out at my Batania area. So let me grab those real quick, be right back. And with the leather from the Batania area, I went ahead and crafted my ender pouch. So, got this guy set up. We got our ender chest ready to go. We can go ahead and access our ender chest with our ender pouch now. So, as you can see in the ender chest, we got our dirt. We can also do it, um, you know, either way. So, we can access it interchangeably. I love it. I've also went ahead and got set up real quick another small power unit. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab that and combine that with my wrench from Buildcraft. And unfortunately, it looks like I cannot use my already damaged wrench. So it looks like I'm going to have to make me a new one real fast. Thankfully, I have the bronze for it. I think it's six, right? So we need... Oops. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. There we go. So there's a perfectly brand new wrench. And there we have it, our electric wrench. The reason for this is I'm going to go ahead and charge that up real fast. I'm also going to go ahead and put on my advanced bat pack. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this guy into a lossless mode. So we should be able to hold M, right click, and lossless wrench mode enabled. So what that allows us to do is to pick up our machines safely without having to worry about them uh, going back into machine casings and having to recraft them. So, I should just be able to go ahead and uh, wrench these guys up without an issue. As you guys can see, I went ahead and got rid of the uh, the water underneath our, what is that, fluid king machine? Yeah. So, I mainly just want the macerator and the electric furnace, uh, but I will be moving the rest of these downstairs as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys into my backpack for now. The ones I'm not going to use the compressor, um, I might use the extractor soon, the metal former, which I had some copper cables in, I'll go ahead and put those in here, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and set these guys in here for now, I don't think I'm going to be using those anytime soon, at least not today, so, we'll go ahead and pick those two guys up as well, let's toss them in the backpack here too, empty cells, blast furnace, and the main two that I want here, the macerator and the electric furnace. So there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up these copper cables here. And then we'll run a line down to the basement in just a minute. Now, let's see. I need to clean up the inventory just a little bit real quick. There we go. Take a little bit of redstone. You can have the blaze rods as well. And the copper cables. Now... I want to go ahead and start moving some of these chests downstairs. I would like to have and uh, reuse some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make myself a couple dollies from Jabba. So if we type in dolly, these guys are pretty cool. So we just need, what is that, five pieces of iron and one plank. So let's see. So I got one of those. Let's grab, let's grab a few dollies. I wouldn't mind having a few of them. We'll do, we'll do three. That sounds like a good number for now. So we'll do that. Make one plus another two. And didn't I already have one of these? Yeah, we did. Perfect. <laughs> another example of me having uh, something and uh, not remembering. Perfect. So I might do hmm, a little bit of reorganizing as well. I might set up a barrel or two in the meantime. I'm not sure, but I definitely want to grab these chests here. Let's see. And definitely want you. And you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring those guys downstairs. I'm going to set this up probably right in here. So oops, probably need to go ahead and set these guys down. Set these against the mall just for the meantime. Bloop, bloop, there we go. And I will be putting the chest probably right here. And then right in here, I will set up the electric furnace and the macerator. So I'm going to have the macerator on the left, put the, mas uh, the electric furnace there on the right. And I need to go ahead and s jump up here real quick. I need to craft something. Let's see. I need an upgrade. 
for our macerator. I would like to have it automatically eject out the right side to the furnace. So for that, I'm gonna need an injector upgrade, which will automatically output to the first valid side, but we'll have that set up right. So we need a hopper, two pistons, insulated copper cables, and an electronic circuit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and craft this stuff real quick, and then uh, I'll see you guys back in just a second. And ejector upgrade crafted. So let's go ahead and head downstairs and see if we can't set this up. So we have the macerator here, electric furnace here. We want the macerator to eject it from the right side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift right click on an object on the right side. So we got the great wood log there, right side, basically the same side as the macerator, which is the east side. So we're gonna put this here into the macerator. We'll go ahead and place the overclockers in there as well. And I need to go ahead and probably start digging out from behind here. Oop, if I can get back here. Oh, whoa, calm down. <laughs> All right, yeah. The uh, advanced diamond drill has been doing uh, a lot of work for me lately, especially with the enchants on here. I've noticed that the efficiency actually feels like it has uh, done a little, a little improving on the tool. So it's really nice to have. Um, let's go ahead and set up this way a little bit, and I think I'm also going to have to grab my saw in a minute, and probably some more of this nether brick. So open this up right here. I plan on placing my inner chest right there, and then we'll have this send over basically just kind of a line for now. So I'm going to have my chests probably set up over here. So let's place you there there, you there, and you there. Okay, now can't open these on the top, can't open the ones on the bottom, so what I'm gonna have to do is replace those. Mm, let's go ahead and grab a chest out of here. Or not a chest, but a, um, eh, my mind's going crazy. I need to grab myself a crafting station. I'm gonna place that in the floor, probably right here for now. There we go. And we'll go ahead and set us up some nether brick stairs. You know what? Actually, let's uh, conserve on that a little bit. We really don't need the stairs. We can go ahead and use our saw to craft into some uh, nether brick slabs. We'll go ahead and save that a little bit. We'll, instead of uh, using all of that, we could just use two slabs. And it'll pretty much do the same thing for us. And that does not look too bad. Now, we can make it look just like stairs and just place those there. I think that looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad at all. And then I'll clear out behind those guys in just a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our metals chest right there. Let's grab some iron. Let's grab some gold. I'm going to go ahead and craft myself another gold chest. So there's our iron chest and gold chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a chest right here next to the macerator. Probably there. That looks good. All right, and I'm actually going to go ahead and pull out of the bottom of our inner chest. So let's dig down here. Shift right click that guy right there. And we'll pull our transfer pipes up and around. Let's see, and we'll go ahead and place a filter pipe right there. And we'll go ahead and continue this along. I think we'll do this like this. That way we did, don't connect to the gold chest there. Let's see, let's go ahead and, oops, not that. Let's put this into big holes mode. That way we can go ahead and clear some nice area out back here to do some work in. There's the blast furnace. I mean, <laughs> high oven. My mind is just going nuts tonight, isn't it? All right, let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm gonna use the mod sorting pipe. Um, we got basically in this chest, we got Thomcraft, ooh, Minecraft, Carpenter's Blocks. Hmm. Mod sorting pipe might be a little bit uh, much for these. This is basically just a Minecraft chest in a sense. 
And then th those are all my ores. I actually need to pull those out, and those are going to be making their way into this chest. So, I wouldn't mind using a mod sorting pipe. But for that, I kind of need a few more chests. I wouldn't mind having some some more chests laying around with, like, um, uh, all my items for certain mods. Like, you know, my industrial craft chest. I might just place those over here on this wall. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, let me grab a few more chests. Uh, get those crafted up, and I'm going to set that up on this back wall here. So I'll see you guys back here in just a minute when I get that taken care of. All right, guys, and we're back. So I went ahead and crafted four more of the gold chests for now and uh, kind of set up a few items already in some of them. So here, just uh, for now, Batania. Um, here I'll have a little bit of industrial craft, some thumb craft, and I think I'll just have this just um, last-ditch chest, for instance, like if I don't have any other place for any of the other items to go, just like random miscellaneous items in the meantime, until maybe I get some... Uh, some more chests set up. So let's go ahead and set our mod sorting pipes on these three chests here. And we'll just run an extra transfer pipe there. So let's go ahead and run this all the way back over and around to these chests as well. Let's see, how do I want to set this up? Hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pipes real fast. You guys will notice I also went ahead and grabbed a little bit of string some sticks and some redstone because I'm also going to need to craft myself a filter. So let's see, we got the sorting pipe. I believe it was the sorting pipe, wasn't it? Uh, that will only insert items to an inventory if the inventory already contains an item of the same type. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I want for now. And I may alter this in the future. But for now, that should work for what I need. Um, I need to pull that out. Uh, yeah, guys, you'll notice I went ahead and also placed the ores that I plan on using in, um, in the macerator and the furnace. I wanted to place those in the chest here. So, let's actually set this up. So, I'm going to have that send out on a transfer node here. And I'll have that pull out into the macerator. So, I'm just going to set that there into the top of the macerator. That'll start um, putting our uh, items in there from our chest. And then it should, when it gets done macerating, automatically go into the furnace. Now, we don't have any power in this at the moment. And I do need to get that set up and uh, pulled down into the basement, which I should be able to do here in just a minute. We got some insulated gold cable. Hmm. 128 EU. That should be enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can pipe this down. Whoa. whoa. <coughs> that was just about perfect. Let's see, and we'll just have this run down here. Right over to these two guys. I'm just going to have it run into the back there. And it should be perfect. Oop. And you. Nice. And there we go. The macerator's already up and running. Perfect. All right, where'd my jetpack go? All right, oh, there it is. Still in my inventory. Nice. Alright, so pretty much just need to do a little bit more tidying up around here. We got this nice and running there real quick. We need to pull this out of here as well. So that's going to go there. I'll go ahead and pick that guy up right there, and we'll have this run out this way. So there we go. This is going to go into the normal system here. Let me just make a little way back here real quick. So these two pipes are going to connect let me open that up, pull that down. So that'll connect there. And then I'll have these guys connect here. So I'm going to go ahead and craft those sorting pipes real fast. And then I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. About to craft myself a crescent hammer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this to kind of sort my pipes a little bit better and uh, dictate which way they're going to go. So I'm going to right-click here. If you guys notice the lines here, that should hopefully prevent items from uh, going back this way because I want this more or less just a linear um, kind of setup. So in this case, I want items come from if they're coming down this line I want it to come down this way and be able to go down that way so I want it pretty much just set up like this this will be coming out of the furnace here 
and making its way down the line here. So we got the sorting pipes set up, and right now they're all connecting, and I don't really want that, so we're going to use some micro parts. I'm going to go ahead and make these into covers for now. And I'm just going to do in that. There we go. That way it's kind of uh, just like a snake going through here. That'll work <laughs> for now. All right, so we got electric furnace. It's doing its job. It's pulling out the gold ingots. And they should be making their way into this chest here. So we should see one coming in just a second. Nope, oh, there we go. Two of them just popped their way in there. Nice. All right, lastly, I want to go ahead and get started on the filter. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. We'll go ahead and craft up a few of those. And all we should have to do is just put this in our hand, right click on it, and we can set up our filter. So I want to set this up for this chest here before it starts using up all of my stuff. Copper, tin, which it's already kind of done, unfortunately. Do I have anything else in here? Yeah, there we go. There's our gold. So I'm going to pop the gold, tin, copper, and iron in there for now. Fortunately... I don't see any silver. I don't think I ran through all of that real quick already. Or did I even have any? Oh, there they are. I was wondering where all this stuff was going. All right, so it pretty much already made its way down to this miscellaneous chest. All right, so we should be able to be fixing that here in just a second. So there we go. We got our filter set up. Should be able to place that here in our filter pipe now. Let's see, that side, I think that's yellow. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I think it's just rendering improperly. So I'm going to set that up right there, and anything I place into my ender pouch or wise should make its way into this gold chest. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Let's demonstrate and see if this will work. All right, guys, I completely overlooked this. I really just wanted uh, this node here, this transfer node to just feed the macerator. I completely spaced out and saw that it was uh, actually just now connected to this uh, transfer node pulling out of the electric furnace. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off there. So what was happening, I guess, it was sitting here in this chest and it was going like, well, we can also send this down to this other chest all the way down here, which that's really not what I wanted to do. So we should hopefully now be able to place our filter back into our filter pipe so let's go ahead and do that real quick there we go I'm pretty sure like I said that's yellow I know like I said it doesn't look yellow but I think it just rendered out improperly all right let's go ahead and pull everything out of out of here that we can and go ahead and start trying to put this back into our inner chest and see if this will go ahead and start pushing everything back in here the way I wanted it to. Hopefully it does. Looks like we got the gold making its way in here. And it's searching for inventories. Now, lastly, before I finish off for today, I do want to make a few more upgrades. Whoops. And one of those being a speed upgrade. So we're going to need a uh, block, a couple blocks of redstone, some gold, and gold nuggets. That should hopefully speed things along a little bit. And a stack upgrade would be nice to go along with that. So let's do three diamonds. We'll grab some gold. All right, we'll go ahead and make a few gold nuggets. And then we should just go ahead and be able to craft these. I'm going to craft like 16 of those for now. It might be a little overkill, but eh, I'm going to probably be using those at some point. And I'll make one stack upgrade. So I'm going to put this stack upgrade on the ender chest for now. We'll put that right here. And we'll set this guy up with eight uh, speed upgrades. Hopefully that's making its way in there. Looks like it is. Is this thing uh, clearing out properly now? It looks like it's doing a lot better job. Definitely. All right, cool. All the ores are making their way into there. That's what I like to see. Right now, I really don't need that. Hmm. Here, let's go ahead and put the speed upgrades here. We'll put six in there, and we'll go ahead and just put one in there for now. I'll probably craft some more of those up off camera, but that should work. And the other cool thing about the extra utilities pipes is that they are actually micro part accessible. So we can uh, cover up everything that we've just done in the pipes. 
with micro blocks. And I think this is looking pretty good so far. I went and made some hollow brick covers from our nether brick covers like this. Place those behind the chests. That allows the um, actual pipes to still connect to the chests and uh, not be able to see uh, back behind the chests. It just looks like it's pretty much just a nether brick sitting back there. So I went ahead and did that for all the chests. And I know that it's about time to go ahead and call it for the episode. But I do want to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, a test run on our sorting system. So we got our upgrades set up for our um, transfer nodes. We got that one there. Uh, hopefully all of our ores should make their way into the chest. I think uh, everything should be good to go. This is still making its way into the end chest. All right. I'm going to have to figure out what's causing that, where that's running to. It's probably still making its way through here some way and somehow. I'm not sure. But we should still be able to go ahead and sort our other items real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump my inventory in here. And everything should hopefully sort accordingly. Looks like things are starting to make their way out. Let's also jump upstairs here. We got a few other chests to go ahead and uh, sort out a little bit. We got this. I'll probably work on something for that a little bit later on. But we also have all of this stuff here and all of this stuff here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out. We'll just push all that in there. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and place a few more speed upgrades in that transfer node. So let's just pull this out. Let's place that there. That should hopefully speed that along, placing everything where it should go. A lot of this stuff's probably going to make its way down here to the end. I'm going to go ahead and get these um, ores out of there for now. So I went ahead and also set up a extra utilities um, chest here. All right, guys. Well, it looks like things are actually starting to do their sorting properly a little bit. We got the extra utilities making its way in there. We should also have um, industrial craft making its way in that chest as well. Let me uh, go ahead and do a little bit more. Place our stuff in there like that. Uh, oops, yeah, not you. You can come back. All right. Yeah, it's not doing too bad of a job. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish sorting. And if I find anything out um, that needs fixing between the episode, I will uh, let you guys know next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.